Bard's tale begins near White Orchard, with my dear friend Geralt of Rivia seeking his lover of yore, the sorceress Yennefer. She'd eluded him for years, but now seemed just a few steps ahead. What happened? Monsters. Monsters from the swamp. Folk said the road was fraught with peril, but I wouldn't listen. Got my comeuppance now. Less moaning, more details. What happened, and how can I help? And remember, I don't work for free. Witcher's code and all. Well was on my way to the Black Ones to trade. Suddenly my horse got spooked, ran clear off the road. We hit a bump, I went flying and the horse and cart rolled on. Then I heard bubbling, neighing, slurping. Something came out from the muck, devoured Asher, hooves and all. No doubt my goods are still on the cart, but I'm too afraid to go and see. Thought maybe you? I'm most concerned about a little box. Bring it to me. I beg you. Fine, I'll go. Let you know if I find that box. Tracks rode off into the swamp. Right. 
Here's the cart. Carts riddled with arrows. Interesting. I should take a look around. An arrow? Didn't mention this. Square in the neck. Good shot. Either the merchant's got serious memory problems, or he's lying. Must be that box he mentioned. Splattered with blood. Human blood. Oh, and you find the box? Yeah, found your priceless chest. And someone who looks an awful lot like a cart driver with an arrow through his neck. No dryads in these swamps, and never known a drowner or a water hack to use a bow. So lacking any other suspects, I'm guessing. Watch out! Behind you! There's nothing behind me. I'm a witcher, I'd have heard it. Just like I can hear your heart, which is pounding like a liar's. Best hope you're a better writer than you are a liar. Gotta get him out of here. Wake up. See? Can't run from the truth. Not even on horseback. Now who are you, and why'd you attack that cart? Private First Class John Gamer. Temerian 6th Division, 2nd Regiment. Disbanded, but still active. Underground, in the woods. That was a medical transport. I'd be damned if it reached the Black Ones. And the medicine. Our lads could use it too. We've many ill among us. You let me go, and they might live and fight once more for a free North. You can go. But I'm keeping the medicine. Nilfgaard will find you and kill you anyways. Why should it go to waste? Take it. And choke on it. Anyone home? Must be out hunting. Trails fresh. His love just left home.
you, Ms. Love. Shh. Hear that? Wolves? No. Wild dogs. Yes. More dangerous than wolves. Dogs more dangerous than wolves? Don't think so. It's the truth. Know why? No, but I guess you're about to tell me. Wolves hunt to fill their bellies. Wild dogs kill for sport. Just like humans. Aye. They've learned much from us. Why not cruelty too? I'm hunting bigger game. The Nilfgaardians the Griffin killed. Where'd you find them? Ah, I see. You a witcher. That monster slayer they's talking about in the village. Mm -hmm. I'll show you, sure. But, uh, I gotta kill those mutts before they hurt someone. Will you help? That is, if you don't mind blunting your silver blades on them. Sure. Griffin's not going anywhere. No. Dogs might, though. So step careful now. Come on. These dogs been a problem for a while now? Since the war started. Soldier on the march. He'll stop to rape a woman, strangle her, kill her man for a chuckle, even butcher a cow. But a dog, a kick in passing, no more. So these stray mutts form packed too late. Attacked another one. Dieter. You know him? We served at the Lord's Manor together, where the Black Army's encamped now. He was a stable hand, I was the Lord's hunter. But that was before... Well, a long time ago. Before what? Before they drove me from the village. What did you do? Nothing. I'm a freak. Sorry. I'd rather not talk about it. Don't have to, then. So, can you show me where you found the Nilf Guardians? Griffin, know anything about it? Not much. Not my kind of game. You're his kind, though. Survival instincts alone ought to make you care. I walk silent through the woods. No griffin can hear me nor spy me. was here. One lay there, by the stump, headless. The other hung from a branch, guts splayed, stretching down to... Watch out for yourself now. 
I'll be fine. Not the first griffin I've dealt with. Not likely to be the last, either. Hope you're right. Good hunting now. Grounds black, saturated with blood. Nelth Guardians were celebrating. Griffin interrupted them. A camp. These prints are older, and deeper, heavily armored. Elf Guardians, probably. Griffin's nest. What remains of it at least. Corpse is a couple of weeks old. Still alive when the Griffin brought him here. Took a long time dying. Bones. Horse. Dog. Human. A few months worth. Female. Larvae and her wounds have already hatched. Been dead at least a week. Other griffin must be a male. Deep cuts over the whole body. Not a drop of blood on the beak or claws. Didn't defend herself. Crept up on her while she slept. Beak tips worn. Gray hairs in the coat. Ten, twelve years old. Griffins pair off for life when young. Male must be about the same age. Thick shaft, dense barbs. A royal griffin. Explains why the male I ran into was so aggressive. Hunted the Nilf Guardians down here in the forest first, then started prowling the area. of power should draw from it.
in a blow hole. Oh! Whoa! That's it, Roach. I mean, the beggar tickets, the red bloom. Well, well, one versed in herbs. Probably saying too much, but I know a bit. For instance, that beggar ticks poisonous. In large doses, small ones soothe pain and bring forth pleasant dreams. Which is all I can hope to do for her. Looking for buckthorn. Know if it grows anywhere around here? Hmm. Bottom of the river, where the channel's widest. But you do know that once out of the water... It'll stink worse than a weak old carcass. Counting on it. I'm hunting the griffin. Need the buckthorn for bait. I was thinking... A few years ago we had trouble. Drowners under the bridge. A whole village had to pitch in for a witcher. Who now can afford the bounty on a griffin's head? Captain Peter Sars... something something. Ah, oh, good to know the Black One's looking out for our welfare. Nilfgaard values one thing. Order. Griffin's disturbing that. It's gotta go. Yes. First I'll tend to the monsters, then to the folk. Not from here, are you? A lot of bitterness in you. Too much for someone who's spent her life in a hut in the middle of nowhere. True. And you're in a hurry. Elsewise you'd not use bait, just wait for the griffin to attack again. Believe we could have an interesting conversation. Maybe next time. Yeah. Oh! 
<laughs> Lost your key, ma'am? No, not me key. Me pan. It always sat there empty, this hut. That is, till the night afore the battle. A man arrived, walked right in like to his own. Was standing at me window, peering at the goings on. He must have made me. Cause next I knew, there he was, coming my way. So, I grabbed me pan for protection, see? But he just asks all polite, Gran, got any birch bark by chance? Lilac berries or even a few coals? Nay, says I. And you must be right daft to pester folk at night with such foolery. But I see he ain't listening. Just staring at me pan like a magpie at a copper. Lend it to me, Gran. I'll give it back come morn. He's right baffled for what's he doing, frying in the dark. But I've got a sock. Interesting. What happened then? Afore dawn, another rode up to the hut. But come on, only the first... Will you help me, dearie? Bring an old widow or a pan. I could never break... Never taken on a pan contract. Fine, I'll go in, look around. You should wait here, just in case. Corpse explains the stench. His throat, he was garroted, and some old scars. Kind of soldier by Monocle. Interesting. Nothing. Nothing. But when I gab to myself, they say I'm going bar me. Documents, almost entirely burnt. A few pieces still legible. Found the pan, have you? Ah, the priceless frying pan. Hm, scrubbed clean. Looks like the mystery man didn't need the pan so much as the soot off it to make ink write letters. Here, your frying pan. Mine? But mine were black with soot. And I could see myself in this sun if I wanted. But them years are past. It was the soot the man needed. He scraped it off to make ink. Must have had an urgent letter to write. Urgently burned some other documents too. And... And the other fellow? 
dead. Round up a few boys and bury them outside the village. Deep. Hang about! You've earned a token of thanks. Here's... Fry up a nice white fish for Or a pipe! Vesemir. Let's go! Let it rain. Watch the blood from the fields. Let it rain. Watch the blood from the fields. Field is that the other side from the river. fields by the wood? Yes. What is it, Wolf? Realize it's been half a year since we hunted down that fiend in Varun. Yes. Well, that was more than a fiend. What was that bastard's name? Drugan. May the soil lie light upon him. Things used to be simpler. Monsters were bad. Humans good. Now, everything's all confused. Used to be exactly the same. Do well not to point up my age. You're near it. Got good news and bad news. Good news first. Captain of a Nilfgaardian garrison knows where you're And the bads that we have to kill the Griffin? What else could he want from two- Griffin's abandoned its lair. Gotta make a lure. And how's that going? Got the buckthorn. Ought to work like a charm. Powerful scent. More like stench. City boy. Rotting meat, manure, piss, standards. Huh? Remember Tredegor? Hunting that's... How can I forget? You ever gonna... Learn some things. It's a male. Had its nest in the Vulpine Wood. The Nilfgaardians burned the woods down. Killed its mate. Smashed their eggs. <laughs> it's always the same. Instead of sending for a professional, <laughs> fine. 
I'm ready. No point in waiting. Let's find a good spot to ambush it. Picked one out already. Other side of the stream. There's fields and a grove. Plenty of room. Good. Me there. Slower. Hey now. Sun ever shine in his land. Anyone want to go and jump in puddles? <laughs> Come on. Stream, amber waves of grain, charming place, perfect for an ambush. I know how to choose them. So, ready? Let's start. Wind's good. Bait's scent will spread quickly. Now all we have to do is wait. Come on, we can cower in the shade of those birches. So tell me, once we find Yennefer, what'll you do? Got your eye on a contract? No. I'll go to Kaer Morhen. Little early to settle in for the winter. Snows are a way off, yes. And that's what worries me. Nilfgaard's crossed the Pontar in the east. Puts them maybe a week's march from Kaer Morhen. If they reach the valley before snows can cover the passes... Well, we need to cover our tracks, hide our paths. Speaking of winter and wintering, think you'll come this year? Maybe. Might bring a guest. Hear that? It's close. Let's go give it a warm welcome. Wait. Wait this. Crossbow. Won it in a card game while you ran around. Might come in handy. How about that? Always lectured us on the evils, but you're a gambler yourself. Stop talking. Got a griffin to kill. Show me what you want. 
It's about to dive! could stand to improve some things. For example? Upward vertical strike, it's too obvious. But more on that later. Take the Griffin's head to the Black Ones. I'll ready our horses. Meet me at the inn.
Let's go. Medallion's humming. Slow now. What the hell is this? Why? You take me for a blind man or a fool? This grain is rotten. No, I, I didn't know. So, a fool. Damn it, you never learn. Military Codex, Article 2, Section 3. For the delivery of defective goods, 15 lashes with a knout. Make it so. No, no, no! By the gods, no! What? Guess you've dropped your good uncle act. It was no act. I extended a hand to these people. Could it be because it held the sword that killed their loved ones? Tja, a moralist. And Wouldn't ever be in your stead. Tell me why you've come. Fulfilled my end of the bargain. Your turn. Where'd Yennefer go? To Vizima. She was a day's ride from here the whole time. Yes, I might have. But you would not... Halt! We are not done. It's yours, this gold. I would not... your mind man have you lost your mind man
Move it. Come on. Here. Oh, got a wee bit chilly the night, so I set fire to my fo- What do you think happened, dimwit? Some bugger set a light me, me workshop. Sorry. Any suspects? Whole damned village. I've lived here half a century. Thought they saw me as one of their own. But everything changed when the Black Ones came. I'm the only smith around, so I got to service their garrison. Bang dents out of plate, shoe horses. That sort of thing. Nilf guardians don't pay me a bloody copper. Just give me supplies and orders. The humans can't fathom that. They think I'm getting rich off their misfortune. That I sleep on a pile of gold like a plowing dragon. They've stopped talking to me. Spit when I pass. And now this. I can find your arsonist, provided you're willing to pay. <sighs> I've not much left, but I'll give you all if you bring me that horse in, so that he gets what he deserves. The night of the fire, I heard movement outside my hut. from a tinderbox. Arsonist must have lit his torch here, tossed it on the roof, then fled through the orchard. Bootprints. A man's. Large. Stinks of piss. And vodka.
took off his boots and went in the water. Probably wanted to cover his trail. Drowners, but he managed to escape. lead back to the village. I think those plums are we can have it on the go. Thank you for saving me. People say all kinds of things about witches, but I've always known yours to be an honorable guild. So you managed to salvage some goods? Yes, but I await the repair of my wagon. As time passes... Let me have a look at your stock. Take care.
comes here, but I'll recognize him by his wounds. My dad had a sword once too. Got a lump of bread today. Drown her claw marks. It's gotta be him. Nasty wound. Run into a drowner. What the fuck do you care? Whoa, our arsonist's a charmer too. Come on, Smith wants to talk to you. I not talk to a non-human. Sons of bitches all, and dwarves are the worst. Greedy little magpies, do anything for gold they will. Listen, we can work this out man to man. I give you gold, you don't turn me in. My mum died a while back and I sold her tools. I've spent some, but what's left is yours. Magpies and dwarves might be greedy, but I'm not. Can't buy me. Then I'll beat your fucking mug to a pulp! Try me, peasant. I could use the practice. But not your legs, so let's go see the smith. And take my advice. Don't try anything else. Here you go. One village pyromaniac in the flesh. Nap! You! I knew your mom for years. Charged her nary a copper. This is how you repay me. I've had enough. Hey, soldier. A minute of your time, please. No! Willis, I beg you, I, 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 I was drunk, didn't know what I was doing. I've told you, Master Willis. We will help you rebuild once reinforcements come. The supplies have been ordered. Not what this is about, mate. The, the forge was important to the garrison. Destroying it was sabotage. No trial needed here. Just a tree. Harsh as punishment goes. But deserved. You know, I hated the Black Ones at first, like everybody else did. Now I'm thinking they might just bring... And, I managed to save some things from the fire. Anvil still holds, so I'm sure I can bang something out on it. You need anything, let me know. Give you a good price.
so. Something wrong? Look around. Trouble brewing. Who are they? Patriots. Drinking their seventh round for Tamaria. Fists starting to itch. Don't see any enough guardians. They'll find another foe. I'll buy some provisions for the journey. Then we'll go. Geralt. We should stay out of it. Just this once. How long are you gonna make me wait? It's all right. It's over. Leave me be! Get away! See his face! God save us! Be gone. And don't ever come back. So much for not getting involved. Come on, let's go. started. Excuses, excuses. You've not changed a bit. Y Yen? How? I received a report about a witcher who'd appeared in White Orchard. I knew it was you, looking for me. I might have waited until you found me, but... Well, you know me. Patience has never been my strong suit. It's... Good to see you, Geralt. I... I'd even embrace you. Were you not covered in blood? Sorry. Wasn't expecting to see you. To be honest, this isn't at all how I imagined we'd meet. How did you imagine it? He didn't imagine you'd have a Nilfgaardian escort. Don't get me wrong, Yennefer. I'm glad to see you. But I do think you owe us an explanation. And I shall provide it. In Vizima. Ready your horses. Spent the last six months in the saddle. Haven't seen you for two years. Sadly, we cannot. Emperor Emir Va... Doubt I number among... Well? The kind one can't refuse. I didn't. Fine. Guess I'm willing to hear him out. The Emperor of Nilfgaard, Lord of Metina, Ebbing, and Gamera. Sovereign of... What about you? I'm going in the opposite direction. I somehow doubt the Emperor's invitation mentioned me. Besides, I... Yeah, I remember. How's your horse? Swift? Can't complain. I'd like to be back behind some thick city walls as soon as possible. Filthy. Just the beginning. But then. But then. <laughs>
This bard's tale begins near White Orchard, with my dear friend Geralt of Rivia seeking his lover of yore, the sorceress Yennefer. She deluded him for years, but now seems just a few steps ahead. After many trials and tribulations, Geralt finally learned that Yen was in nearby Vizima. The gentleman will be seated on the berger. The what? In that chair. Tedwin, we shave the chair. What's wrong with my beard? Always thought it added to my dignity. It does. Yet it also detracts from your elegance. In Nilfgaard, we consider beards hard on the eyes. Been on the road a while. Tilt your head back, please. How goes it? Yes, General. The gentleman will- Who's this guy? He a barber too? No. Morvran Voris, commander of the Albert Division. Yennefer's escort. They were my men, all of them. Indeed, were, for none have returned. Wild Hunt killed them. A cavalcade of wraiths dashing across the night sky. These omens of war the peasantry bubbles about. <laughs> Expect me to believe that. Frankly, I don't really give a damn. Nordlings, we can bathe you. Nice meeting you too. Done. Shall I shave him once more against the grain? No. He himself. Good. Now the gentle. Sadly, I did not receive exact measurements. Where are my clothes? Where they should have gone long ago, with the laundress. They will be returned to you after the audience. Clean and stark. The gentleman will tell me... Directly out of Nordling tales. Inconceivable. Black suits the gentleman. Does the outfit satisfy the gentleman? A studded doublet and a sword on my back. That's what. We'll... Yes. It's a saying. So what now? Powder my nose. No need. The gentleman's complexion is light enough. The gentleman is to stand before the ruler of the North and South. I must confirm that he knows how to bow.
confirm away. Please watch. Leg extended. Hand flat. The gentleman will rehearse. Gotta be kidding. Not at all. I... Does the gentleman know the penalty for breaching? I do not wish that upon him. Wrong, wrong, wrong. Once more. Leg extended. Hand flat. Head down. Chin to chest. The gentleman will rehearse. Please, this is neither the time nor the place for such... The gentleman will watch carefully. Leg ex... The gentleman will rehearse. Hmm... Come with me. The gentleman will address the Emperor only when asked to, and using the appropriate title. Your Arch Magnificency. I see the gentleman is in the mood for jests. I fear the Emperor might not share his disposition. Your Majesty will suffice. Spoken loudly, clearly, and with respect. Imgrimi et Arth Kerzer. Daithven Aden in Karn eb Marvut. Emir Var Emreis. Bow. Your Imperial Majesty. Arer ep do orde. A valiant nomin, vat gun favot. So many months at Faltest Court, yet you still haven't mastered the basics of etiquette. You know what they say? Can't teach an old wolf new tricks? Take it you didn't summon me to reminisce about the good old days, so... Silence. My daughter Surila, she's returned. And she's in danger. The wild hunt pursues her. You will find her and bring her to me. How many men in your army? Twenty thousand? Thirty? So why me? You know why. Because she trusts you. She trusts me, yes. So tell me why you are looking for her. Out, it's about making up for all those lost years. For reasons of state, as always. Enough of this banter. If for no other reason than because I shall pay you. More than you customarily receive for a contract. Considerably more. Save your generosity for those whose homes your armies have raised. I'll do it for Siri, not for your gold. Your motives do not interest me, only results. Yennefer will tell you the rest. This audience is finished. Meririd! Take him to the sorceress. Did I not emphasize adequately that one must bow to the Emperor? Relax. Nothing happened. To the gentleman. But I shall be punished. How? Please keep close and bother no one. We've had enough breaches of etiquette for one day. Calm yourself. What? Do you know who you're talking to, soldier? I'm Herivart II, Prince of Elanda. Not only am I made to wait here like a supplicant, 
Ratslieden ähnigt, es tun, es ist sauer an den Es ist die Äpfel. Äpfel sind so weit. Es ist so weit. Es ist gleich. Kim Welt Rainer Gart und Selfie den Schwach. Das sind Blenden Äpfel und Macht. And self it then sick yet. Casper can do better. Once the gentleman is done, he should see me to retrieve his possessions. Will sharpen yet. Yes? Then transcribe. The true authority in Novigrad is not the city council or the merchants gift. Geralt, that tunic, you look positively sm Ugh, dying to take it off. I'd consider that a proposition under different circumstances. Now do you understand why I'm a- Mm-hmm. And seems we're in the- Siri, she's really back? No chance he's mistaken? Look, that's more or less what she looks like now. Or so our agents claim. Our little witch has grown into a young lady. It's been years since you trained together at Kaer Morn. A great deal has changed. You haven't. Not a bit. <laughs> I missed those awkward compliments of yours. But let's focus on Ciri, all right? Right. Amir said the Wild Hunt's after her. I'd find that hard to believe, before what happened yesterday. How did they track us down? Because of me. You see, I've spent months searching for Siri, using locating spell. Well, guess you were wrong. Hmm. I've sensed them on my tr- I can't risk another encounter like that. It's time to put away the magic. You must find her, Geralt. The Wild Hunt. What could it want from Siri? I've no clue, Geralt. Might have written them to ask, but I- I know as much as you do. It must be about her blood. As for what the hunt wishes to do with that gift, I'd... I'd prefer not to think about it, really. So where's Siri been seen, exactly? In two places. The trail in Velen is most promising. You should make that your first stop. Ask for a merchant named Hendrik at the inn at the crossroads. One of the Emperor's agents. He should get... That's it? No passwords? Secret None. Sorry to sp All we have in Novigrad are unconformed report. Triss Merigold. Apparently she's got a cozy flat on the- Sure she'll be delighted to see me. What about you? What will you do? I shall sail for Skellige. There was a magic explosion there recently, blew half a forest down. I believe this had something to do with si- One thing before we go. I didn't want to spoil things. I'd heard you and Triss made a great couple. Yen, I'd lost my memory. Really? That's your excuse? Let's drop it, all right? It's not what you think, or it helped me understand how much I love you. I don't wish to hear it. Any of it. Guess this means we need to split up again. It is indeed. Not gonna happen. Have it your way? Oh, and you really look quite dashing in black velvet. Think so? Maybe I can have some- Same to you. And if you wish to learn what's happened in the world while you and Vesemir roam the wilderness, talk to Ambassador Vartra. And Geralt, I know it's wartime, but try not to be a hero, all right? Just check those leads and come back to me. In one piece. I shall be waiting.
shame I have no time. How might I serve the gentleman? By returning my things. Citrus and cloves. The fragrance will keep the gentleman... Mm. Thanks, but... The Emperor is not known for his patience. He wants his daughter back safe and... Yeah, mention something of the sort. Barbarians. Geralt and Yennefer were reunited, but something even more important happened in Vizima. Geralt learned that Cirilla, his one-time ward, had returned from afar, and she was in danger. He was to find her, at the Emperor's command and Yennefer's behest. Master.
Just strangers coming. Run for your lives. I'll not give her up. Not on me life. They hear her squealing. They'll kill us and take her all the same. So I'll slaughter her on myself. Looking for a man goes by Hendrik. What do you want with him? Want to talk to him. What about? Give me a bottle of something strong. You gotta go. I'll open the back way. I haven't finished my drink yet. In cape, vodka. Who's this? A brave warrior, looks like. Oi, great boy. Wonder if he keeps an extra prick in his trousers, too. You fucking deaf. Gonna soup. Someone who'd prefer not to be bothered while he's having a drink. <laughs> Hear that? We've a distinguished gentleman in our midst. Shine your boots, got No. Wouldn't want the group. Bolo. Go away, or I'll kill you. Damn it. Enough. Now! All together! Now! <laughs> Saying, Baron, what? Calm down. Your Baron's no idiot. Seriously doubt he'll think you locals cut his men down with farming implements. Now, where's Hendrik? Man lives in Heatherton, the other side of the hill. Look that away this morning. Anything else you can tell me about? Odd fellow. Arrived from who knows where and for no apparent reason. Shacked up with a widow whose husband was stabbed. Baron's men don't like strangers. Aye. He stays out of their way. Thanks, Inkeep. Go out the back. More the Baron's... No need to worry about me. I'd rather you not make any more trouble for yourself. Together! 